shorter curing cycle, better resolution, simple fabrication? Discover our fabrication protocol for PGMS and epoxy mold using our upgraded resin. We will start with the PGMS molding. To begin with, you will need the following tools Epoxy kit, PGMS resin, curing agent, silicon wafer mold, scale, dissipator, and vacuum pump. In order to make a 5mm PGMS mold, we will start by weighing 58 grams of PGMS resin, the ratio of 10 to 1 with respect to the curing agent. Clean the ridges of the container once you finish weighing. With the help of a glass rod, mix until the color of the mixture turns gray and the texture becomes frothy. To degas the mixture, Place it in a desiccator for about 30 to 60 minutes. Make sure the lid is tightly sealed to avoid air leaks. While the resin is being degassed, we will clean the silicon wafer using isopropanol. Do keep in mind that the bottom of the silicon wafer is clean to avoid any PGMS leaks. Now, we will prepare the epoxy base. Place the FKM seal on the base and on the top of it, position the silicone wafer. Now, we will prepare the PGMS frame. Make sure the O-ring is rightly placed on the PGMS frame. To assemble the frames, latch the PGMS frame on both sides and ensure that an optimum seal is created between the frames. To ensure good placement of the silicon wafer, the PGMS frame is connected to the pump. Pour the degassed PGMS gently into the mold. Make sure it's done slowly to avoid the air bubbles. Place the PGMS in an oven for one hour at a temperature of 80 to 90 degrees. After an hour, remove the epoxy kit and let it cool down for a while. PGMS gently from the silicon wafer. In case of difficulty, IPA can be used. Cover the PGMS mold using an adhesive tape to protect it from dust. Let's prepare the epoxy resin. It's recommended to perform epoxy handling in a few mood. First, weigh 100 grams of the component A, the resin, for 35 grams of the component B, the hardener, or 100 milliliters for 50 milliliters of hardener. Don't forget to clean the ridges of the bottles so that the dry epoxy doesn't glue the bottle when closed. Dump the components separately on a hot plate set at 70 degrees Celsius for at least 10 minutes. Using a glass rod, mix the components A and B very well, then heat up for 10 more minutes. It's time to prepare the epoxy mold. For that, you will need the PGMS mold. Make sure you coat the epoxy mold with an anti-adhesive spray, silicon spray, to ease the epoxy unmolding step. Remove the push 
efficient connector from the base frame as it is not heat resistant. Set up the base frame and place the PDMS mold in the center. Then cover with the epoxy mold frame. the latch is too tight to avoid PDMS buckling and don't make it too loose either. You can add one sheet of flex dime or any heat resistant material of 750 micrometers. We're almost done! Now we pour our epoxy mix gently and slowly to avoid bubbles. Make sure the oven shelf is flat. We then place the epoxy in the oven for 2 hours at 90 degrees Celsius then 2 hours at 120 degrees Celsius, then 3 hours at 150 degrees Celsius. Open the side latches and unmold the epoxy mold from the mold frame. Use IPA in case of difficulty in unmolding. Cover the PDMS counter mold with a scotch tape to keep it clean for later use. For this resin, hard bake isn't necessary, but if you want to, you can bake it. For that, place the epoxy mold at 190 degrees Celsius for 2 hours under pressure to ensure a flat surface. That's it! Now you have a resistant epoxy mold. Try it out! For more questions or queries, don't hesitate to visit our website.